Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Famsi aka Niger Picking. If you see me, see me for the first time, thank you for stopping by. And if you're an OG, thank you. We're trying to build, build a community. Please like, subscribe, turn on your notification. And anytime I do a video, you'll be the first to know. So, um, we overheard in the news that Shell is leaving Nigeria. We heard it before, not be today, we don't hear this Shell is leaving Nigeria. Shell is leaving. They, were, they left Worry. I'm from Delta State, if you must know. They left Worry, but they are still operating in Worry somehow. So, this they are leaving and selling. It's doing crooked, it's doing me crooked way some, somehow, somehow. But anyway. This is what what you get when you have, and if when you are when you operate in an unrest environment. Now, why is this an unrest? It's unrest because what Shell was doing, it's a good thing. You're doing business in the place, but yet you don't have light. There's airborne, you know, airborne of carbon, whatever, in the system. We have black suit everywhere, and the, our the riverine areas we cannot go to the we cannot go to um fishing because the ijos the riverine area from delta state from the niger delta are usually their main farming job is fishing so shell has spilled oil crude in in the bank of the water even around the water that they cannot fish again so in in the other state right now in short in the niger data right now fish up is very expensive usually it's not like that because every day usually they come to the town they bring fish you know so for this day i think they now have this because they have to go deep 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 inside the sea to go and cast their nets to to make to bring out fish so now it is costly so right now because They've reported because I think I've even made a video on that before. A company, some of this community reached out to me. You know, I think Bogo, Bongo, so I can't remember the name right now. But they reached out to me and I did a video here. They are telling Shell to come and clean up their mess. Now Shell wants to run away. UNICEF, they've gone to UNICEF and UNICEF said they've checked at it and they see that the cleaning has to take 30 years. Now Shell is running away. They want to run away from Nigeria without cleaning. Now they are bringing, they are selling it to a home, um, uh, I don't know, an individuals, I think groups of people, companies in Nigeria that, that I heard, they've not told us their name yet, but I heard that they, they are the ones, you know, um, buying this shell. If they are here, hey, they will not clean it. Uh, they will not clean it. And this thing, let me tell you, all these kidnapping adventures, all these things will be worse. Because these people, hmm. anyway, let's just let's just listen to what they have to say. We now head to Nigeria, the economic powerhouse of Africa, a former British colony that is about to have an economic decolonization, a partial one anyway. After almost 90 years, nine decades, Shell is selling its oil drilling business on Nigerian soil. This is the second largest oil company in the world, second only to Exxon Mobil. Finally, it has an exit plan in order. It is selling off its onshore business in Nigeria for about $1.3 billion upfront and $1.1 billion in additional payments. This deal is for a number of assets, including Shell's existing facilities and 18 oil mining leases. The reserves are big, estimated at about 458 million, of million barrels of oil equivalent. 458 million which translates to a lot of money, way more than what Shell is selling it for. Why are they selling? From the company's perspective, the Nigerian onshore business was a liability. Let me tell you why. In 2008, there were two major oil spills. Tens of thousands of barrels of oil were spilled. Locals sued Shell for millions of dollars. In 2015, the company paid the claimants $83 million. In 2021, it paid more than $110 million. The United Nations has asked Shell to clean up its mess. The process is likely to last 30 years and cost over a billion dollars. Local environmental groups have also been after Shell with numerous lawsuits over the oil spills. And not just for the big incidents, for smaller spills as well, regular ones that occur due to theft. People keep stealing oil from Shell's Nigerian operations. And this results in frequent smaller oil spills, which Shell then has to clean up. 
The oil giant also faces sabotage attempts by locals who want the company to share its wealth and help make up for the damage it caused. So the problems seem unending. And all of this got too much for Shell, which is why they want out of the Nigerian onshore business. They've been trying to do this for about two years, and now they've finally got their buyers, a consortium of five companies. Four of them are local firms, meaning more of the oil wealth would stay in Nigeria. But it's not exactly a steal for this consortium. These new owners will have to fix the mess that Shell is leaving behind. They will have to assume responsibility for the cleanup work while Shell gets to walk away. The drill on the Nigerian mainland or in shallow waters near the Niger River Delta. It wasn't their most profitable venture anyway. Shell won't leave Nigeria completely. This is Africa's largest oil producer after all. The company will just exit the mainland. Shell also has other businesses in Nigeria. It has a gas supply firm, a solar power unit, and stakes in liquefied natural gas or LNG. So Shell's logo will still be seen in Nigeria after this. But with the sale of the onshore business, a major problem will be dealt with. A problem for both the company and the locals. Just one last step in the Nigerian government. After that, both Shell and the locals can end their troubled relationship.